So the next fascinating stage in women's lives is between about their mid-30s and probably around 50. And at this stage, most women have settled into a pattern of life. Um, a lot may well be mothers and have children who are growing up and they're very involved in their children's life and very, very busy. A lot of women, however, in their mid-30s still haven't settled down and had a family yet. So they're starting to be concerned about when they should and if they're going to, and if they are going to, how easy it is going to be for them to get pregnant. Because we know that by their early to mid-40s, women are starting to notice things are changing, sometimes with their menstrual cycle, um, other times with their mood, and they find that premenstrually they're finding it more difficult to cope. A lot of women come to me saying that they're feeling more anxious than they ever used to and they're finding it slightly more difficult to cope with normal things. And so they're getting uh, rather stressed by having to deal with their family and their work and their husbands and everything else. And so a lot of women do decide that they need to take some steps to try and help with it, whether that's coming to talk about changing their hormonal environment with their contraception, whether it's going to the gym more and trying to sort out uh, different patterns of exercise, whether it's trying to get to grips with their diet. So they are starting to turn to us for some advice and help at this stage. And one of the big things that women start to notice is that their periods become really troublesome. And although they may have expected their periods would get lighter and then eventually disappear, a lot of women tell me they're getting heavier and heavier and more painful. For those women who are actually trying to get pregnant and haven't yet got pregnant, they really do come for advice and help because they want to know whether the length of time that they've been trying to achieve pregnancy is normal, whether they should be intervening, whether there's someone who can help them to make sure they are going to conceive if they want to. But for other women, what they're facing is actually the years leading up to the menopause. And that's something which is quite troubling because they haven't thought that they were getting towards that era of the change. And yet it's the perimenopausal years when their periods aren't really about to stop, but where their hormonal environment is really quite different. And a lot of women also at this life stage are starting to get involved in the health of their own daughters and are starting to want to make sure that their teenage daughters are healthy and well and making good choices themselves. So there are a lot of times when we can give women at this life stage lots of really good high quality advice.